party. Now we need some flowers. Here's a yellow one. And a red one. And a pink one. And here's a pretty purple flower. Just like you, Barney. Hi, Julie. Ooh, those flowers look pretty. Thank you, Tasha. Look, four mud paws for the tea party. Just what we need. I think we're ready to start. It's good manners to serve our guests first. Would you like to pour the tea, Tasha? Yes, thank you. Would you care for some tea, Mr. Dinosaur? I sure would. <laughs> hey, everybody. Thanks for inviting me to your terrific party. And you've arrived just in time for tea. Oh. Tasha put the kettle on. Tasha put the kettle on. Tasha put the kettle on. We'll all drink tea. Tasha put the kettle on. Tasha put the kettle on. Tasha put the kettle on. We'll all drink tea. Oh, those cookies look delicious. Thank you, Barney. Would you like a big, sloppy, gloppy mud pie, Barney? Um, uh, not right now, thank you. Um, uh, perhaps I'll have a cookie. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Hey, look who's here. Hi, Barney. Hi, Hi everybody. Cool. What's going on? We're having a lovely tea party. Would you care to have a cookie? They're quite yummy. Well, we have lots of mud pies. Thanks. Uh, I think a cookie will be just fine. And they look quite tasty. Mm. Hmm. For some reason, you look different today, Sean. Can you guess why? Ooh, it's a guessing game. Oh, boy. Uh, is that a new sweater you're wearing? No. Did you get a haircut? No, it's not that either. <laughs> well... I know. Your socks don't match. <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> He's wearing his new glasses. <laughs> That's it. I knew something was different. I really like your new glasses, Sean. They look great on you. Yeah, they sure do. Thanks. I like them, too. They help me see better now. Can you see my picture on the easel over in the art center? Uh-huh. I see a girl and a house and a tree and there's green grass. Mm -hmm. And a blue sky and clouds, and the sun is shining too. Yeah, let's take like a closer look. Look, eh? Oh, that's it's good, good Josh. I love to draw pictures. Oh, it's fun. I don't. I can't draw very well. Oh, that's all right, Sean. Just give it a try and have fun. Sure, it's fun to draw anything you want. Guess who this is? Is it you? Uh huh. I like to draw pictures of me. Hey, why don't we all make pictures of ourselves? That's yeah. okay. yeah. oh, 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 Let's see. Should I use paint or chalk or maybe markers? Oh, I do love to paint pictures, you know. I'm using yellow right now. I'm using peach and, and orange and green and all different kinds of colors. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> I like using all different kinds of colors, too. Here's my picture. You drew yourself playing your cello. I sure did. <laughs> That's good. Look at my picture. I use chalk. That's you drew a good. big smile on your face. That's very nice, Julie. Here's mine. Look, she put pink bows in her hair. I like that. <laughs> now look at my picture. You even remembered to draw your new glasses. Even the me in the picture can see better now. Yeah. <laughs> what does your picture look like, Barney? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. Oh, boy. <laughs> Those look like spots. Uh, Barney, do you really think that looks like you? Oh, I think it looks just like me. Look. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's a picture of his back. Yeah. That sure is different, Barney. Yep, we're all different, and that makes everyone special. <laughs> you are special, you're the only one, you're the only one like you. There isn't another in the whole wide world who can do the things you do. Cause you are special, special, everyone. 
everyone is special, everyone in his or her own way. Oh, you are special, special, everyone is special, everyone in his or her own way. Pictures. I'd like to be an artist when I grow up. I have a friend who loved to draw pictures when he was a little boy. He wanted to grow up to be an artist too. And you know what? What? He did grow up to be an artist. Would you like to meet him? Yes, yes sure. Oh, okay, come on. Hi there, Tommy. How you doing? Good, Marie. How are you? Oh, Good I'm to see you. Great. It's nice to see you again. This is my artist friend, Tommy DePaola. Tommy, I'd like you to meet my friends Tasha. Hi, Tasha. Julie. Hi, Julie. Sean. Hi, Sean. I like your glasses. <laughs> and Michael. Hi, Michael. Nice How are you? you? Nice to meet you, too. Paula? Yeah, call me Tommy, please. Okay. okay. Tommy, I think I want to be an artist when I grow up. Well, you know, Tasha, you can be anything you want to be when you grow up as long as you practice hard. When I was a little boy, I knew that I wanted to be an artist when I grew up, and now that I'm older, I write books and I draw the pictures for them. <laughs> as a matter of fact, I want to show you one of my new books called The Art Lesson. Now, this is a book that is autobiographical. That means it's about me, and there I am right there. I was only four years old when I knew that I was going to be an artist when I grew up. Yeah. And I had two twin cousins, and they were in art school. They were studying to be real artists like I've become now. And they told me two very important things. One was to practice, practice, <laughs> practice. And the other thing is, even though it's hard work, it's also a lot of fun. And I think if it wasn't any fun, I wouldn't want to do it. Okay, I'm going to start working on this picture, and I'm going to show you the book. You can look at the book while I'm working on it. And if you have any questions, you can ask me as I go along here. All right. Where do you make your pictures? Oh, I have a big, big barn at my house that's called my studio, Sean. It doesn't have any cows or ducks or oh. pigs or anything in it anymore. And I have a special desk that I sit at, uh -huh. and, um, and I do all my artwork there. I'm going to draw my knobby knees here. Oh. And you know, I, I saw that Julie had these great knee socks. And I think I'm going to put me with knee socks on. How's that? And then I'll draw my shoes. Big lumpy shoes. I like making big lumpy pictures here. I'll put a blue stripe here. Blue stripe here. Tommy, and, yeah. when you were a little boy, did you like to draw the same things you do now? The same things I draw now? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. I like to draw birds and animals and people, fairy tale princesses. Ooh. A lot of stripes on this shirt, boy. <laughs> Here we go. And we need one more color. Barney, you pick this color. Oh, okay. Well, let's see. Um, how about yellow? Great. Oh, okay, cool. good. Okay. Great. Yellow, 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 <laughs> yellow, yellow. Okay, I think I'm going to put brown hair. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because my hair used to be brown when I was a little boy. <laughs> and I think I'll make my pants brown. And I want to put some nice bright stripes on my socks. That's one of the nice things about drawing and being an artist because you can make things look any way you want, That's right? That's right. All right, now I've got to do my face. So I start with my eyes. I'm going to use just two little dots. Mm -hmm. All right? So I'm going to put one dot here. One dot there, 
and my little blobby nose. <laughs> and because I am so happy to be here with you, Barney, and all your friends, I'm going to make a nice, great, big smile. Oh, great. <laughs> That's it. Oh, oh that's great. great. <laughs> Do you have a favorite color? Yeah. White. Oh, wow. White? It's really yeah, because I can paint on it. Oh. <laughs> What's your favorite color, Barney? Oh, well, let's see. I like red and orange and yellow and green and blue and purple. All kinds of colors. <laughs> oh, I like red. It's the color of an apple. Orange. It's the color of an orange, yellow. It's a lemon and our wonderful sun, sun, sun. Green. It's the color of the trees and lots of things that grow. And then there's blue for the sky. And purple, that's a color that's fun, fun, fun. And when we put those colors side by side, now what do you think we've done? We made a rainbow. And it's a really beautiful one, one, one. Oh, I like red. It's the color of an apple. Orange. It's the color of an orange. Yellow. It's a lemon and a wonderful sun, sun, sun. Green. It's the color of the trees and lots of things that grow. And then there's blue for the sky and purple. That's a color that's fun. Colors side by side, now what do you think we've done? We've made a rainbow. We've made a rainbow. We've made a rainbow. And it's a really beautiful one. <laughs> oh, wow. Isn't that beautiful? Can you show us one more picture, Tommy? Oh, yeah, can you show us one Well, okay. I'll tell you what. I'll draw you three more pictures if you'll sing me one more song. Oh, okay. Okay? And to make it more fun, let's see who can finish first. Oh, all right. Okay. <laughs> but what song can we sing? Do your ears hang low? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here we go. Do your ears hang low? Do they wobble to and fro? Can you tie them in a knot? Can you tie them in a bow? Can you throw them over your shoulder like a continental soldier? Do your ears hang low? <laughs> Let's see what he did. Oh, 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 we have to hurry. <laughs> Do your ears hang low? Do they wobble to and fro? Can you tie them in a knot? Can you tie them in a bow? Can you throw them over your shoulder like a continental soldier? Do your ears hang low? Only bit me one that time. Oh no! We really have to go fast this time. Do your ears hang low? Do they wobble to and fro? Can you tie them in a knot? Can you tie them in a bow? Can you throw them on your shoulder like a continental soldier? Do your ears hang low? Oh, 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 oh
One more important thing. Mm -hmm. You know what artists have to do when they finish pictures? What? Mm -hmm. They have to sign their names. Oh, and great. I always sign my name with a little heart. So I'm going to use the red marker and put a little heart. And then I'm going to write my name. I'm going to put the T around the heart. So it's T O M I E. Tommy. Oh, and there we are. Oh, it was so good to be here with you. Hello. Thank you so much. Thank and you. I hope I see you again, okay? okay. All right. Take care. All right. Bye-bye, I wish I could draw pictures for a book like Mr. DePaula does. Oh, that'd be great. Right. Hey, let's make our own book. We can each make a picture for it. Yeah. That's, oh, that's a good idea, Michael. Do you mean we can do any picture we want? Mm -hmm. Any way we want? Sure. Will that make a book? Oh, you'll see. It'll be a super D super book. Oh, oh, boy. So oh boy, oh boy, I can't wait to see your artwork. <laughs> Just listen. <clears throat> Our silly book with words by Barney and illustrations by Tasha, Julie, Sean, and Michael. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was an elephant, uh, a baby elephant named Andrew. Even though he was a baby, Andrew was big and had a very long trunk. Every day, Andrew played with his friend, Edward the monkey. Edward loved to eat bananas. <laughs> he would peel them slowly and then gobble them up as quickly as you can say banana. Sometimes Edward wasn't careful where he threw his banana peels and Andrew would slip on them. One day Andrew came upon some beautiful flowers. They were red and blue and yellow and orange and purple. Lots of pretty colors. <laughs> Andrew decided to pick the flowers and carry them home to his mother, holding them in his trunk. What happened then, Barney? On the way home, a beautiful butterfly saw the flowers that Andrew was carrying home to his mother. The butterfly wanted to smell the flowers, so she landed right on Andrew's trunk. But her wings tickled his nose, and that made him sneeze. <laughs> Suddenly, Andrew was sad. He'd sneezed so hard, all the flowers he was holding in his trunk were blown away into the sky. Aw, what happened then? Well, Andrew went home and told his mother what had happened. She just smiled and pointed up to the sky. What did they see? Up above them was a beautiful rainbow. It had all the colors of the flowers that Andrew had blown into the sky when he sneezed. <laughs> His mother loved that rainbow. So, every time you see a rainbow, you'll know that somewhere a baby elephant was carrying flowers home to his mother and accidentally sneezed them all into the sky. <laughs> I like our silly book. It's fun to be silly, isn't it, Barney? Well, it sure is, Julie. Why, we can be silly from our heads right down to our toes. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Would you like me to show you how to make some silly teeny tiny toes? Mm -hmm. How teeny tiny? Really itchy, bitchy, small. I'll make baby footprints. <laughs> Oh, 
to make this book today. Uh-huh, but we haven't written the title on the front. Mm. Every book needs a name. We need a special picture on the cover, too. Barney, would you do one for us? Why, thank you, Michael. I'd love to. Mm -hmm. And because you're each so special, why don't we put you on the cover? Oh, that's good. Thank you, Barney. Yeah. I could paint because it's a picture of my special friends. I'm glad you came to play. Our fun and learning never ends. Here's what we did today. I just love to make pictures, don't you? There are so many different ways. You can use crayons or paint with a brush. It's fun to cut shapes out of colored paper and then paste them onto another piece of paper. Have you ever made a picture that way? Sometimes it's fun to make a picture of a house. Why, you can even put yourself into the picture. Tasha painted a pretty picture of herself. 
Have you ever done that? Wasn't that a silly story I made up about the pictures we put together into a book? <laughs> if you love to draw and practice enough, you might even grow up to be an artist. But you don't have to be an artist to have fun drawing. You could make a picture of me like this one. I know I'd love it because I love you. <laughs>